So I recorded this video, but I wasn't sure if I was going to post it, but here we are. Um, I'm going to do a voiceover on it. So basically I have these wings that I painted a couple of years ago and I want to change the painting into something else. So what I did first was add some blue painter's tape to kind of mask off certain areas. Now I'm going in with a beautiful baby blue color to paint like almost sort of a background and you can see I'm covering up the areas where I have that blue painter's tape. And I really don't have an idea for like the design in mind that I'm going for. I'm just kind of winging it. Now I'm adding in some yellow and some reds and pinks down towards the bottom. So eventually what this ended up being was similar to work that I did quite a few years ago. Um, almost like a fantasy like mountain landscape kind of thing. So I'm just adding in a lot of colors, mixing in some white with each of the colors for some variation. And you can see how much this painting's already transformed. So now I'm taking stencils and spray paint. This is acrylic spray paint. And I'm just spray painting some little fun designs, some dots, some little um, like amorphous shapes on there. Then I tore up some cardboard and I'm using that to kind of highlight certain areas. And so I'm holding the cardboard to the canvas and then just spraying at the kind of jagged edge towards the top. And I'm doing that with a variety of colors just to make everything really cohesive and make it look nice. And now I'm going in with the stencils again. And here I'm using a pizza cutter just to make some fun little lines, like some swirly lines throughout it. But I do all of this work in a variety of steps. So like I'll start with the brush and then I'll go into the spray paint and then I'll start doing other things and then I'll go back to the brush and I'll add a little more spray paint just so everything's layered and certain areas get covered up throughout. And you can see here I'm using some drywall tape, which has like a waffle kind of texture. And I'm painting on top of that. The reason why I do that is um, when I pull that waffly tape off of it, it'll leave like that waffle pattern texture on my painting on my canvas, which is a really cool, easy addition. So I just blend my colors right over that tape and then I pull it off before it dries. Make sure you follow and come back for part two where you'll see the finished product, but I think it's already a huge improvement. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Welcome back. This is part two of transforming that wing painting into like a fantasy mountain landscape. So here I am just adding some more colors to it. And I use my hand there for a minute just to kind of blend some of the colors out. Okay, so now I just continue doing the same stuff that I was doing with the layering of the colors. And then in a moment here, I'm going to show you some close-ups. So in my previous video, I mentioned this um, drywall tape that I used to create some texture on the surface of my painting. That is what I'm pulling off here in those close-ups. It's like a waffle pattern. I put my paint on pretty thick and then I peel it off before the paint is dry and that gives you like that waffle texture on the canvas. And next I'm taking a paint marker. These are the Posca paint markers and I'm just drawing little scribbles all over the canvas. And then here you can see I'm taking off that blue painter's tape and you can see some of that wing design revealed underneath, which is really cool. I pulled the camera back again so that you could see it from a distance, but look at how much that transforms that painting. Now I'm adding more painter's tape to the bottom so that I can layer more colors over the top of it and create that same effect within like the mountain area. I'm going to take just a moment right now to explain what the wings were made for. So at the start of 2020, when everybody went into like COVID lockdown, I created a series of wing paintings and the, that those wings I actually painted outside in my front yard so my neighbors could see me doing it. And then I hung the big wing paintings from my garage with a big sign telling people that, you know, while they're out taking a walk with their family, they can stop by, take pictures with the wings, like as like a backdrop. Um, and we had hundreds of people come to our house because it got published in the newspaper and it was on Facebook groups and stuff. And it was so fun to see people coming with their families when like there was literally nothing else to do. And they just came and enjoyed the art and took pictures. And 
it was just a really beautiful experience. So I'm glad that I was able to do that for my community during such a tough time. But now that time is kind of, you know, past and I don't like to have paintings that I'm not going to be able to sell laying around. So that's why I'm transforming this one into something else. And I'm really happy with the transformation. I love that I kept some of that original wing painting in there by using the tape to make windows. And um, I just think it turned out really beautiful. So I'd love to know what you guys think about this in the comments here. You can see me removing the tape. How fun does that look? And um, yeah, I'll give you a few close-ups here in just a second. And let me know what you guys all think. Thank you so much. I hope you follow me if you like content like this. And yeah, have a great day, everybody.